Hello everyone, this is iTalk2, and in today's video we're covering Overwatch 2 with Season 10. Man, I am excited to see what we get here. First of all, did I get enough stuff for a Jade weapon here with my with my placements here? Let's see. First of all, I was top 500 in open queue. Uh, did I not get a title for that? I better have gotten it. Let's just take a quick gander and see here. Because uh, look, you can see here, competitive... Oh wait, my season... What? Season 9 and then open queue. Yeah. Top... What? Okay, maybe I got out of it. I don't know. Regardless, it doesn't even matter. Let's take a look at the shop. The battle pass has already been shown off before, so I really don't feel like I need to cover that. Okay. So, Mythic Shop. Oh, boy. Um, all right. So, Space Pirates. Uh, okay. Wow. So, we have this Mythic. This Mythic thing right here. For $40, you get 20 Battle Pass tier skips. You get the Battle Pass, which is normally $10. You get 2,000 coins. So again, if you're a collector like me, 2,000 coins plus 20 Battle Pass tier skips is already like 40. I think that's already like $60 in terms of like how much you actually like pay for this, I think. And then you get the Arc Commandant Amari Ana skin, uh, which this looks dope. Really like this, really like that. And then we have the Fallen Knight Reinhardt skin. So I think these two skins are exclusive to this, although before when they've done this, they still release the skins anyway, separately without needing you to buy this big $40 bundle. So maybe that'll be the case, but for now, it looks like it's only gonna be bundled uh, here. Uh, we should uh, purchase this. Uh, let's uh, cover the screen here, because uh, I don't want you guys to see the information, but that seems like that's it for the shop already. It's just this, which again, I mean, they just came out with a new battle pass. They came out with this new bundle. Obviously, I'm not expecting like, oh, tons of new stuff in the shop today. Like, there's just no way I was expecting that. But I do want to take a look at that mythic shop, though, because that one, I'm, I'm interested in that a lot. All right. So we bought it. We bought it. We bought it. Cool, cool, cool. So... The Mythic skin, the Mercy skin, is not actually in the Battle Pass anymore. They're not going to do that anymore. Now, it it's it's different. Um, so, this is everything in the, in the normal shop right now. Everything here besides these two things right here, you can just buy from the Hero Gallery. None of these are new skins at all. And then there's like this voice line. Space pirates have more honor than you. Did I not have this before? That's weird. I really, I, I'm pretty sure I had it. Regardless, Seasonal. That's all you get for seasonal. Still selling that invasion bundle. All right. And then the mythic shop. Mythic shop. Get current and past mythic skins here. Mythic prisms. This is the currency used to unlock mythic skins. Battle pass. Earn mythic prisms through the premium battle pass. Each battle pass has enough mythic prisms to fully unlock a mythic hero skin. Okay. So. You can get everything for <laughs> owned, owned, owned. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've been getting all these. And then it says, like, yeah, available soon. So you can get the Arisa skin next season, and then you can get the Moira skin in the next two seasons. That's how they're going to do it moving forward. But very interesting here. Um, so you unlock them in different chunks, I guess. Which is interesting. We have the Mercy skin here. Oh my Don't goodness. Fail me. I'll be right behind you. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited to get this. So you have to unlock these through levels. So level four, how much is that? So at level one, it's 50 Mythic Prisms. At level two, it's 10. Three, it's 10. And then four, it's 10. So you would need 60, 70, 80 Mythic Prisms. Okay. Okay. I have 20. So if we take a look at the Battle Pass here, I, sh I, 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 I got 20, which also, by the way, huge thing here, they now have the coins in the pass now. Uh, very cool. It's just, in, it's just in the Battle Pass now. So there's 10 there, and then there's 10 here. Okay. So then there's 10 here, 10 here. Looks like it's always on this same tier here. 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, and then the levels. Okay. 
or then the titles. All right, it's that's very interesting how they're handling it. So essentially, to get the full mercy, you have to get to seventy-eight, I think, because that's that's eighty. T that's eight times ten, because every time every eighth tier, you get ten prisms. Okay, so if you want to unlock the whole mercy right away, you have to get at least a seventy-eight, like right now. That's interesting. All right. Now, one thing I want to check here is that, can I unlock a Jade weapon? Um, no! So they got rid of that. That really sucks, actually. You no longer get competitive points um, for placing, for finishing up your rank. Because you used to get that. You used to be able to get um, different amounts just for whatchamacallit. Just, just for finishing in a specific rank, you would get, you would get points for each, you know, reward at the end. But now it's, I guess they got rid of that. That really sucks. Uh, I was really hoping that I was going to be able to get a jade weapon, but no, they really just want you to play competitive. Um, that is what it is. Uh, with arcade, yeah, we have the new mode, uh, Hana Oka Clash. New mode. I think it's probably going to play a lot like War from Call of Duty World at War, if you've ever played that, or I think uh, World War Two, Call of Duty World War Two, I think also had. A mode like that but um excited to try that out and then other than that yeah that seems like that's about it yeah again if you want this don't fail you have to get 50 right behind you. you have to get 50 mythic prisms just for the base so you have to get to 58 to unlock it to just unlock it and then to unlock the more you keep progressing all right well, like I said, I'm not going to cover the Battle Pass. That's already been covered by YouTubers, so I really don't feel like I need to cover it. Uh, but I've seen the pass. It looks cool. Um, a lot of it just kind of looks like color swaps. Like, the bad guys are now blue, and the good guys are now red. I like what they did a little bit with them, but it's nothing too crazy to write home about in terms of, uh, you know, what they've done. Also, Venture, new character in the game, only has rares. No epics and no legendaries to start off. That really sucks. I don't know why why they did that, but you have a highlight intro. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool there. I uh, got some emotes. Again, like Aww. there's barely anything for the new characters anymore. <laughs> At least they have the, the sit, right? Yep, they do got a sit emote too. We got some victory poses here for venture. Very cool, very cool. Um yeah. I can dig that. They they do have a whole bunch of voice lines, which that's nice. And then the sprays and stuff. But yeah, a little little disappointing that they don't even have a legendary skin yet. Back in the day, new Overwatch heroes got four legendaries and two epics. Now they get no epics and no legendaries, apparently. That that's lame. But that's it. That is it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know the like and comment down below what you think about the shop. What you think about this? With, with the prisms and stuff like that, I'm excited to try all that out. Uh, but hopefully you guys have a good one now. See ya.